in football, you're changing direction every kind of five meters, every three seconds. So there's constantly putting impact loads on them knees and on them ankle joints. So we do control the agility work. By controlling it, you're getting a lot more development because you can work the technique, manipulate players in certain positions and get them cutting at different angles. Keep going, keep going, keep going. With the T-drill, we're working on the fundamentals of agility, seeing if there's a difference between right and left. An average time for that, both sides for an elite academy, would probably be below 9.33. That's a very quick time. Anywhere between 9.33 and 9.5 is about average. Anything above that, you need to improve in that metric. OK, so now we're just going to go into a possession game, but we're still focusing on change of direction and acceleration principles. What I want you to do is, every time you play a pass to your teammate, you have to sprint through one of the gates. So there are six gates in total. Make sure you get through one of them. OK, play! Every pass they make, they're finding new space. That's what we do in football. You see Barcelona, they do it brilliantly. Little ticky-tacker passes, getting round, finding those pockets. Drop your shoulder, get through a gate. I want a change of pace. There's loads of variations you could do with that drill. So I went into a man marking where they had to tag the player. So it worked a little bit more of that competitiveness, trying to sprint away from your opponent. And time! Last drill of this series is that change of direction again. Again, it's competitive. So it'll be 1v1. We're going through the slalom run. We've got two columns of players matched up like for like. They'll react off a stimulus, which is the ball dropping in the middle. They're then going through the slalom as fast as they can, getting round to get onto that ball to finish into the goal. Nice, 2-2. Two, two. We're creating that cutting angle of about 45 degree to 90 degree. We want to look for that kind of low body position, low center of gravity, short little steps to allow you to push off, get around the slalom. It's winner takes all, you get one opportunity, you've got a score. Pre-season's gone really well. Everybody's come through pretty much injury free. Uh, we've got some great games coming up and now it's the time to put all our good work into action.